Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? This is for Aries. This is your love reading. This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this channel, I hope you all are staying safe. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you for returning. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments. New viewers, cross watchers, you are welcome. Please take what resonates, leave the rest, apply the gender roles, how they fit into your life. Let's get started with your love reading. Spirit, Holy Spirit, this is for Aries. What is the love reading for Aries? Love reading for Aries. This is for Aries. <coughs> Spirit, Holy Spirit, this is for Aries. Love reading for Aries. Okay, there's one card. Love reading for Aries. Okay. All right, I got this card in my one of my other signs. And, and it's like a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations need to be taking place. Aries, this is talking about heart-to-heart -heart conversations. It says, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Um, I'm getting that like a... Um, I'm getting like a closed off um, um, energy. Um, a lot of connections, relationships need to have more of a heart to heart discussion. Your second card is trust. Aries, your second card is trust. It said this situation is calling for you to have trust. So not only do I feel that um, <clears throat> there's a lack of communication on how each other feels, but I also feel that some of you may not trust your partner to discuss or to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the person that you're with right now, okay? Yes, absolutely. Some of you are guarded. Either you are guarded or your partner is guarded, okay? And um, it's, it, it has to do with trust. Maybe your partner don't trust their heart with you. Uh, is it something that maybe you feel as though that happened? You know, only you know, Aries, only you know, only your partner knows. This can be you or this can be your partner, but someone's closed off. Someone's closed off. They don't trust you with their heart or you don't trust this person, the person that you're involved with. You don't trust them with your heart. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. There's some toxic energy going on here. Okay. Aries, um, there's some toxic energy going on. That's why um, you don't trust. Uh, something's going on um, with you and your partner. Um, that's why you are closed off. Okay. So I feel as though that a lot of you don't have trust with this person because they left you out in the cold. Or this person don't trust you because you left them out in the cold. You reverse the roles how they fit into your life. But I really get a feeling of sadness, depressed. Um, I really get that. A, a walking away. Um, yeah, pain. That's why. Okay. Defensive energy. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So what I'm feeling here is that there's a lot of energy of blockage. Um, there's a lot of energy of sadness, depressed, being left out in the cold, very defensive, Aries, uh, very heartbroken, very painful energy that is in this connection. Your person or you are very closed off. It's a it's the major problem in your relationship is that the trust, mm, the trust, you don't trust this person because this person, wow, there's a lot of pain from this person. There's a lot of pain from this person that you are involved with and your fear is that if you say what it is or say how you feel to this person, this person's going to leave you out in the cold. Or this third person can't trust to talk to you because you're probably going to leave this person out in the cold or this person's going to leave you out in the cold. It's almost like you can't be your authentic self with this person. It's as if you can't be 
You can't say what it is that you need to say to this person. You can't discuss your feelings with this person because you don't trust yourself with this person. And it has left you very sad and depressed. And you're just looking back on how this person treated you. That's why you don't trust this person. This can be you or this can be your person. Don't trust you. Because you've done a lot of deceitful, a lot of, a lot of toxic, a lot of things. Maybe you did a lot of cheating and lying and stealing. And you've done a lot of things to this person. Or this person done a lot of things to you. You want to have a heart-to-heart -heart uh, conversation with this person. But this person is closed off. Or you are closed off from this person, Aries. There's a lot of depression in this relationship. There's no trust. There's defensive energy. You're protecting your heart. There's a lot of protection, a lot of heart protection. Look at here. A lot of guarded. You're very sad and depressed because this person put you in a third party situation. You put this person in a third party situation or they put you in it and they hurt you or you hurt this person very bad and they're very blocked off. They're very blocked. I don't even see how y'all are still together. I don't see how y'all are still together. What are you doing? You're just functioning. You just you just function. You just codependent on each other. Maybe it's kids involved. Maybe it's just you need each other. Maybe it's terrible. It's a lot of defensive uh, toxic energy. And y'all really need to have a heart to heart conversation with each other. You really need to open up and really say what it is because trust is definitely a factor in this relationship that you're in with this person. There's no, absolutely no trust. I see nothing but pain in here. This person that you're with has, has caused you nothing but pain. Or you have caused your person nothing but pain. That's why this person can't open up to you. That's why they won't have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Or this is why you won't open up to this person because they have caused so much pain in your life. And you are in fear that if you open up and tell this person how you feel, that they're going to leave you out in the cold. They're going to leave you. So you have some type of codependence with this person. Maybe this person handles all the finances and maybe you don't have anywhere to go or maybe you handle all the finances and they don't have nowhere to go but they really want to express how they really feel this person is you or this person is very miserable but something is holding y'all together whether it's the sex or some codependency that is holding this connection together or else i'm asking why are you in it so there's some type of codependence that's holding y'all together Y'all have some kind of tie together with each other. And I strongly see a Capricorn in this reading. It could be dealing with a cancer, a water sign. But, yeah, this connection is totally closed off. And until y'all both have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, I don't see, I see this, you just being miserable. You just stuck in something that you can't get yourself out of. This has been your love reading, Aries. <sighs> Until next time.